Hi, Chris here with Oscar, and we're going to go over the, our first time around our outlining process on Oscar. The one thing that I want to mention is that, you know, whenever I'm hand stripping, I work on a dirty coat. It pulls out easier. Um, and if I do bathe the dog afterwards, I use cool water and I dry it immediately with a warm dryer, not a hot dryer, so that, you know, immediately the common opening closes up on that hair. The other thing that you need to know as far as the dachshund's concerned is ultimately our look is to resemble a smooth coated dachshund uh, except for they're going to have a beard and eyebrows. Their ears are very smooth. Um, in fact, typically they have less hair on their ears, but you want to make sure that you remove any of the fuzzies as we discussed in the ear section. But I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that stripping a clean dog is very difficult and you know also when you put the ear powder on them you won't need to wash it out so we're going to work on the front shoulder angulation and let's just tighten up here okay tight 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 all right and what i'm doing is i'm looking at my confirmation just as if i had a pair of scissors in my hand lifting that coat up just to kind of see what's hanging out and we want a nice clean line from the base of the ear to the elbow. You don't want to pinch in the neck. So I'm going to come down here and it's best to keep that skin pulled tight and pluck that hair towards the elbow. Okay, we're also going to clean the front from the point of shoulder in. Set those legs underneath the dog just like we do a poodle. And then we want to make sure that we don't leave tons of this furnishings in the front because again ultimately from afar you will want to see all this fuzzy stuff this needs to look um, like a smoothie and it's very challenging to get multiple layers of coat growth so that you don't end up with holes but yet you end up with a tight enough coat that the dog does resemble a smoothie okay so that's the front assembly we're going to cut in the rear assembly and again I'm going to use my thumb and pull this skin tight and I'm going to come right down and I'm just taking a little layer out. The trick is to take a small enough bite that you don't dig deep and make holes in the rear assembly. Okay, so I'm going from the ilium to the ischium to the knee and I'm going to clean all of this in here out. Okay, and that's the first time around. Thanks.